Alex Wallace here. This is Wallace Fitness Center, and I wanted to go over a new piece of equipment that we bought here in the past couple of weeks. I see some people doing it right, I see some people not doing it correctly, and I wanna make sure that we can correct that right now. So we're talking about the glute ham device. There's a lot of different things you can do on here, but I'm gonna go over the top three. First, let's go over how to adjust this thing. The main way to adjust it is the actual foot pad. So you can move that forward, you can move it back, depending on your height. So if you're a little bit taller, obviously you need to move it back. If you're doing certain exercises, you need to move it back. If you're shorter, you move it forward. It's, it's really that, that simple. But to actually move it, the easiest way I find to move it, obviously you have to pull this pin out, and I like to actually hold where you place your feet. I stand in this direction, and you can move it all the way, whichever direction you want. So it really depends on the exercise, and it depends on your height, how you use this thing. But again, we're gonna go over the top three exercises to do on this thing. The first one, I see a lot of people doing already, and that's just a little bit of hip extension. So you can set that back a little bit further. I like it so my hips are just hanging over the pads. If you're too close, sometimes that puts a ton of pressure on your quads. It's just uncomfortable. If you're too far away, you're not getting a full hip flexion. You're not really bending as much at your waist and coming up and getting the fullest range of motion that you can. So instead, you kind of need to find that happy medium. Experiment, experiment with that a little bit on where you actually put the foot pad. So I'll show you the hip extension first. When you climb in, you want to actually put your feet between the foot pads. You don't go underneath and you certainly don't go on top. You will fall off of this thing. You put your feet in between here and you can't fall out. Regardless of how afraid you get, you're not falling out. The shape of your foot is not going to slide through this thing unless you have very tiny feet. I have yet to find somebody that's actually fallen through this thing. And down at my other facility, we train kids as young as like eight years old and nobody's fallen through. So hip extension, feet are in. You come all the way down and you flex your butt and your hamstrings and come up here. So this is probably the easiest thing that you can do on here. This is what I see people doing a lot anyway. So obviously you can hold a medicine ball, you can hold a plate, you can even hold a barbell and come up here. But this right here is hip extension. I see a lot of people doing this correctly already. Just make sure you're putting your feet in the correct position. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit further forward and I'll show you the pull up of the lower body, which is the glute ham raise on the glute ham device. The glute ham raise is something for your hamstrings and your glutes, similar to hip extension, but it involves what's called knee flexion and extension. So instead of bending at your waist, you're actually locking your waist in place and you're bending exclusively at your knees. So I just adjusted that like I showed you before. You slide in from the side and this is completely different. So I'm here and I wanna keep my hips in. So before, you were bending at your waist while keeping your legs straight. Now you're keeping your hips in, you're keeping your hips straight, and bending and extending at your knees. So you're here, the hips stay in, you come forward, and then you pull back. So that's all. I mean, if you're doing this correctly, you're gonna feel it a lot in your hamstrings. Now where you actually should place your feet, personally, I like to have my heels against this plate. Some people like their toes against the plate, I find that that hits my calves a little bit more and I'm using this exercise for my hamstrings. So I keep my feet and my heels flat against this plate and I'm coming out and I'm coming back by bending and extending at my knees, not at my hips. So I'm gonna show you one more time. Again, this is, this is harder than it looks. I, I said this is the pull up of the lower body. So once you can get one, you can start building on the reps. Um, but it takes a while to get that first one, much like a pull-up. So again, I'm here, I'm burying my knees a little bit into the pads. I'm not sitting right on top. I'm a little bit further into the pad. Not too far back because that becomes a little too easy. But I'm keeping my hips in. I'm extending and I'm pulling back using my hamstrings. It's harder than it looks. The last exercise I want to show you has to do with uh, basically using this for some sit-ups. So again, you need to adjust this uh, so you're comfortable. I personally like my butt hanging off of this a little bit, so I feel like I can get my abs really working. Some people like to sit on top of it a little bit more, but literally all you have to do is flip around. I like to hang on to the foot pad, the, uh, the foot plate rather, 
That way I'm not gonna fall back. Either that, or I'll hang on where the foot pads actually are. So I'm not just like sitting up here and throwing my feet in, I'm hanging on to make sure I don't fall backwards. I don't recommend this for everybody. I certainly don't recommend this for new people. If you wanna do sit-ups, do it on the flat floor. But if you want something a little more challenging, eventually this is an idea. Slide your feet in, like always. You're not putting it under, you're not putting it on top. You can come back and hit some sit-ups here. A lot of people feel this in their hips. Believe it or not, because there is part of your quads that are assisting in this movement. That's why I try to think about curling into a ball. If you have back problems, probably not the best exercise for you. But I'm not just like a like flat coming up like this. That I really feel in my quads. Instead, I think about curling into a ball. Bringing my elbows to my quads instead of just staying straight up and down here, which you'll feel more in your quads. So again, guys, this is the glute ham device. We went over how to adjust it. We went over some hip extension. We went over some glute ham raises on the glute ham device. And then I showed you how to do some sit-ups here. So again, the main principle I want you to follow over anything, make sure you're putting your feet in between these pads, not underneath, certainly not on top, in between, and then you will be safe. Again, I'm Alex Wallace. This is Wallace Training Systems. If you like the video, like the video, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video.